seven furlongs, field in line. For the first of nine, and Fearless Vibe gets rid of Paul Francis. So Paul Francis on the ground, Fearless Vibe running loose as the runners go toward the six. Six Avenue just the leader, Slam Silano attached to the outside as they go past the six. A break of some three and a quarter lengths to Hope and Perseverance. And uh, that's about it in the field as they go making their way now toward the uh, final five. Lam Silano out in front by a length and a long tail. Six Avenue continues the chase and then Hope and Perseverance and uh, the loose horse left toward the back. A long way last as they slip past the half mile and uh, now Slam Silano has been sent into that lead by Samantha Fletcher. It's Slam Silano out in front as they leave the 716th. They make their way now toward the three. Slam Silano trying to steal it. Six Avenue and Hope and Perseverance team up in behind. They both need to find some three lengths as the field are about to come thundering into the lane. They're coming into it now. And out in front, it is a Slam Silano who has that lead. Hope and Perseverance continuing the chase on the outside. Six Avenue left back in third as they now leave the final 3 16th. And it's a Slam Silano with a clear lead. Hope and Perseverance running on the spot along with Six Avenue left back in third as they charge past the furlong pole. And we're only having three finishers in this event. And it's a Slam Silano inside the final 16th. Slam Silano and si the sizzling hot Samantha Fletcher will score by six or more. Six Avenue is second, third, Hope and Perseverance, only those three finished. And also audibility ditched the rider at the start. All in there. They're off and racing. Truly Begotten Son is left at the back of the field early as they come toward the six furlong points. Bosi bouncing easily on that lead. Big Guy in the Sky coupling up and Bosi and Big Guy in the Sky passing the six with that lead. It's Big Guy in the Sky narrowly from Bosi. Three lengths away before we come to Modern Miracle. Then another two before we come to Roaring Thunder. Then comes Truly Begotten Son and racing at the back of the field, here comes uh, Ken. They go toward the four furlong point and Bosi assumes the lead. A half a length from Big Guy in the Sky. They're five lengths in front of Modern Miracle. Then comes Roaring Thunder. Another three before we come to Truly Begotten Son and just at the back of the field, here comes Ken. They pass the three and Bosi bowling along in front. Gone about two lengths now from Racing in second, that's big guy in the sky. Modern Miracle is asked for more run. It is Bosi in front and traveling nicely. Big guy in the sky chasing Bosi in front of big guy in the sky. Also coming on, that's Modern Miracle. Truly Begotten Son begins to come forward too, but it's Bosi still in front. Here comes big guy in the sky coming to re-engage once again on the outside. That's Modern Miracle there coming to the half a furlong pole. It's Bosi hanging on from Big guy in the sky, Bosi hanging on from big guy in the sky. Truly begotten son begins to find late footing, but Bosi beats big guy in the sky. Truly begotten son and modern miracle. Third. Are not quite ready. Now he is. They're off. Kyle Alexis steps off a beat slow. Magical mood comes away running for that lead. Ian I Lynx is racing out wide. Regal and Royal races next with Omron for company as they make their way now toward the six. In behind Omron comes Ianza Lynx and Kyle Alexis yet to recover. Out in front, Magical Mood bubbling along by just three parts of a length. Regal and Royal cutting into that lead. 
Toward the outside, Ian I links races next ahead of Omron two links further back as they leave the five. Ianza links a half a length down from Omron and Akai Alexis maintains last. The small field make their way to the half mile. They're almost there now, and a magical mood is asked to kick once again, trying to shake loose from Regal and Royal. Ian I links chasing in third and looking a threat as they go, flashing past the 716, four links back to Omron. Another three and three quarters to Ianza links, and Kai Alexis remains firmly planted last. The field about to arrive at the final 5-16th, and it's a magical mood out in front, trying to go all the way. Here now on the outside, Ian I Links asked to kick in. Regal and Royal needs to do more running, but it's magical mood, and Ian I Links now battling for the lead, and now Ian I Links swerves down to the rail. Magical mood has to be switched. It's Ian I Links out in front under Ray and Lewis, up for a long to run. Ian I Links magical mood drifting to the right under the left-hand stick. Regal and Royal in the yellow race is out wide, but it's Ian Ian I Links inside the last 60th are not going to get back to this Ian I Links. Can they catch him? That will never happen. Ian I Links wins it over Regal and Royal. Then Magical Mood going by with Ian the Links. Omron is next. Ready for a start? They're off and racing, came out in a very good line. John P wants to prompt the pace. So they come towards the six for a long point, and it is Danny Spud and John P mixing up in front, just about a half a length behind in third, and now a length. That's another bullet out on the outside, and coming on, that is Secret Travelers scooting, scooping up on the rail. That's then be life now going down into third. As they pass the five, then comes Abertone. Colorado Ranger and Eo Primero racing at the back of the field. They come to all the four. John P. narrowly with that lead, hounded by Denby Life and also there that's Danny Spud coming around another bullet making eye cash in progress also there that secret traveler they come toward the three for a long point and it is John P. narrowly Danny Spud they're still mixing it up here comes secret traveler fading out of it a bit that's another bullet they're coming to the two furlong pole and it is still the war up front Danny Spud right on the outside here comes Secret Traveler Danny Spud in front of Secret Traveler tiring a bit that's John P coming on that's Zabratone Danny Spud paced against the rail with that lead here comes Zabratone also on the outside and coming on Colorado Ranger is also coming in the mix. Here comes Secret Traveler, and Secret Traveler has now hit the front. Coming on once again, another bullet. Secret Traveler driven for all he's worth. Secret Traveler in front, and Secret Traveler beats for second. Very tight for second between another bullet and Colorado Ranger. Looks like in fourth, Danny Spud. This is the fifth. 1,000 meters straight, they're off. The Prem Star gets a good start. Stanislaus, as usual, is running right up with the front end. Wifey says so is racing nearest to us and could have that overall advantage. Toward the far side, tacking across, that's a super Amia. As a wifey says so in the blue with a white cap, looks to head the field on the run toward the final three. Super Amia now beginning to make some ground. Supreme Star is within striking distance, so too Stanislaus. C. Don in the old blue race is near to us, along with also in the orange, uh, that is a purple Wayne. But they're inside now, the last quarter. And still out on that lead, Wifey says so on the tender handling, but with a clear advantage, Supreme Star drifting a bit to the far side to meet up with Super Amia. Stanislaus is racing in behind them, but Wifey says so seems to have this in complete control. Supreme Star now asked to run on strongly in the end. They're in the final 16th, and it's a Wifey says so, and the champion jockey, Dane Dawkins, devastating Dane, eases down in the end to win by six or more of a Supreme Star. Then Stanislaus could be Golden Emperor, close between Super Amia Kunama. And nearest to us, that's Purple Wayne. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number five, number eight, Wifey Says So. Six year old Bay Mare by Burn Identity, Keep the Faith by Bellamy Road, bred, owned, and trained Ian Persaud, the winning rider, the champion jockey.
devastating Dane Dawkins, the groom Derek Green. Second, number six, Supreme Star. Third, number four, Stanislaus. And fourth, number one, Golden Emperor. Final time for 1,000 meters straight, 101 flat. Since five and a half furlongs. Best of luck if you play the late pick four. They're off and racing. Old Sammy didn't get such a clean start and is left at the back of the field. A mad scramble up front as it is Nina Dorado on the rail. That's Carol Strike. So Carol Strike from Nina Dorado. Manico is right there in the mix. Also going down that sniper man as they come towards the fourth. Then comes Sensational Satin on the outside, overtaking that is striking the gorgeous. Then comes Aphelios. Bold Sammy is right there too. Also coming on that is Quantum Dancer. Then comes Queen Destiny. Mil military shot and racing at the back of the field, Colbeer. They come towards the two furlong point and it is Sniper Man. Just the leader from Manico attacking on the inside. Sniperman and Manico also out wide. That's strikingly gorgeous, traveling nicely. Also coming on, that is Nina Dorado, but it is still in front and making the running. Manico in front, it's Manico in front. Sniperman trying to get to Manico. Manico still in front, and Manico looks to have this one. It's Manico in front. Sniperman coming back for more, also coming on. That's Aphelius. Manico driven out by Terrific Devin. And Manico wins this one. It looks like Sniperman in second. Then comes Aphelius in third. Foster, the groom, Luis to Da Costa. Second, number eight, Aphelios. Third, number nine, Sniperman. Fourth, number 10, Bold Sammy. And fifth, number four, Colbert. Final time for 1,100 meters, 110 and three. seem to be ready now. They're off. Fly messenger fly comes out at the back. Roraima rushes up widest of them all. Ahmed Ali also goes a hunting for that lead along with a delay the game and it's Roraima stepping wide off the rail as they go into the clubhouse turn and leave the mile. Roraima just the leader from delay the game. Two lengths back to Ahmed Ali. Fly messenger fly has recovered quickly and now rushes down into fourth in chase of the front runners. She's My Friend is a further two lengths back as they leave the seven. Don Vincenzo in the checks races at the back. They're on to the far side and run away now toward the final six. Roraima kept off the rail, just a leader by a length. Delay the game right there in second as they go passing the six. Fly Messenger, Fly making ground. She's My Friend does improve possibly five and a half to six lengths off that lead. Three lengths back to Ahmed Ali and another two and a quarter to Don Vincenzo making very mild progress from the back. They've left the five. They run toward the half mile in what is the Steve Williams trophy. And they're almost there now with Fly, a messenger Fly battling for the lead with Roraima. These two now eyes apart as they head into the turn for home. She's my friend, watches them further back in third. A gap now begins to open up to Don Vincenzo. Ahmed Ali moving as a team with Don Vincenzo and delay the game has now faded to last. 
They've left the 3 8 pole. They're on their way toward the 5 16th, and Roraima kicks again and slips away by four lengths. Fly Messenger fly under the pump and ask to close the gap, but it is Roraima first into the lane in the Steve Williams. Ramon Napier out in front with Roraima. Fly Messenger fly. The rider asking for everything, but this Roraima continues to hold that lead and now gets cracks of the right hand stick, angling down to the fence with a furlong to run. Fly Messenger fly trying to cut into it. The rest's all seem hopeless as it is a Roraima coming away inside the final 16th there's no stopping Roraima in this the Steve or Williams trophy Roraima takes it by four maybe more fly messenger fly Ahmed Ali is third fourth Don Vincenzo Ready for a start for Michael Sims. They're off and racing. You and I and Rosa the Warrior. Those are the two that's left at the back of the field early. Erwin blast into an early lead, mid-track by Millennium Star. Right there too, that's Salud. Then comes Caveman. Four lengths away before we come to you and I on the rail. Right beside you and I, that's Mickey C. Another three lengths before we come to Ophelia's mom. Exceptional Babs left back there. As they come towards the a three furlong point, and it is making the running. Erwin, just a leader. Millennium Star right against the rail. Out wide, that's Salud. These three, Exceptional Babs comes next. Mickey C. just fading out of it as they come towards the top of the lane. It is still Erwin, just the leader. Erwin from Millennium Star cutting the corner and coming forward nicely. That looks to be Exceptional Babs. And now Exceptional Babs has skated you on the rail and Exceptional Babs splashing them a merry dance. It's Exceptional Babs getting out of the grasp of Erwin. Exceptional Babs still in front. Millennium Star running out wide. Exceptional Babs on the rail and making his way home in the rain. Exceptional Babs. Winning by about six or seven lengths. Millennium Star is second. Erwin is third. Mickey C comes next. Followed through by. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number eight, the Mark Fraser Trophy. Number four. Start already. They're off. Seems to have been a fair start. Curlin's affair and Nuclear Noon, they race more toward the center. The Good Witch is with that group in the center. Makeup Artist seems to be tacking across already, showing good speed. Near the stands, Princess Shooting Star seems to lead uh, that group. Artesia is the one racing right against the fence. Generational, not too far away in behind them. As they come away now with just about three furlongs. Princess Shooting Star may have that lead. Makeup Artist is right there on the premises. Artesia is racing uh, near the stands. Curlin's Affair is joining that group as well, along with Generational. But they're coming inside the last quarter, and uh, Princess Shooting Star is in the center. On the far side, Makeup Artist is Princess Shooting Star. Shooting star and a makeup artist going at it. Here is a Curlin's Affair trying to close up. It's a princess shooting star battling to hold the advantage. Curlin's Affair comes a roaring home and Curlin's Affair beats princess shooting star makeup artist. Finishing back in fourth. That's a nuclear noon close for fifth.
In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number nine, the Security Department Trophy, number seven, Curlin's Affair. Five-year-old chestnut horse by Perfect Curlin, Nuclear Affair by Nuclear Wayne, Red Michael Bernard, Owen Micros, the it's the second winner for trainer Anthony Babanunis, and it's also the second for the winning rider, terrific Tevin Foster, the groom Mark McNaughty. Second, number eight, Princess Shooting Star. Third, number three, Makeup Artist. Fourth, number six, Nuclear Noon. And fifth, number 10, Generational. Final time for 1,000 meters straight, 58 and a two. to the winning connections of the Security Department Trophy.